everybody, T.C. Bradley, host of God Made Millionaire TV, the hottest show on TV. And let me tell you, I am so thrilled that you, yes you, have shown up tonight to watch another episode. And what an episode I've got lined up for you tonight. Tonight we feature Dr. Ron Echols and his wife, Johanna Echols, on our show. Dr. Ron is known worldwide as the success doctor. He's got a mission, a mandate from God to help God's people break the generation curse of poverty on their life. And his wife, you get to hear from her tonight as well. What an incredible, powerful woman of God that he has beside him. So without any further ado, let's crack open the vault and let's get this show started. Dr. Ron, a pleasure to have you back on set. I am absolutely excited to be here, TC. Dr. Ron, I have to tell you, your last show that you aired with me, it just blew, blew up. People just loved Dr. Ron. But, you know, one of the things that we heard back from our, our listening audience is, what's up with the socks, dude? <laughs> years ago, being a professional speaker, years ago, I was wearing, because I was a doctor for so many years, gray, blue, and black, and that was it. All solid colors, and my clothes didn't fit me because I lost so much weight, and my professional media person told me, you've got to go to a consultant, her friend, Andy Page. Andy worked with The Celebrity Apprentice. My wife and I went up, we spent the day with Andy. She said, Ron, if you're on stage speaking, and people aren't talking about your socks, you're not wearing the right socks. So wherever I go someplace, I match them up to something I'm doing, and I'm gonna make sure <laughs> people are gonna talk about my socks. Well, they talked about your socks, but they also talked about the content that you delivered. I believe that God has anointed and appointed you in this hour to give his people a message, especially in the business world. Do you believe that business is a calling? Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's some people that were born to be non-employable. I'm one of them, right? I can't right. work for someone else because I was born to be an entrepreneur. And there's tons of men and women out there that have an entrepreneurial heart and spirit, but one thing many of them lack is the know-how and the skill set of knowing how to grow a successful business. And that's why I wrote the book. Right, well, I wanna talk about the book. You've written this new book, debuting number one on the bestseller list. I wanna congratulate you, Thank you on that, but the unstoppable Christian business. Seven steps to your seven-figure business with purpose, passion, and profit. Congratulations on the best-selling status of this book. Thank you. But I got to talk to you. Seven steps to your seven-figure. You didn't say six-figure. No. Well, see, there are people that limit themselves based upon what they believe. Now. I'm not saying that every single person who's a business owner wants to grow a seven-figure business, but I look at it this way. If you are going to enter into the world of business and God has blessed you and your fa His favor is on you and you have the right skills, why not scale your business and create maximum profit, wherever that is, so that you, you can be used by God for His purposes? Right. Why would a person not scale their business is seven figures. It's really simple. They don't know how. Right. Most people usually come out of some sort of skill set and want to go into the business of that skill set, but they fail to understand one key thing, that the skill set that they acquired is not the same skill set they need to grow and scale a business doing that. And that's a really key factor. And I talk about that in my book. Right. Well, you know, the unstoppable Christian business. That gets me fired up, Dr. Ron. That gets me really jacked up. I wanna read this book. How did you come up with that title? Well, my wife and I uh, both uh, came across the term unstoppable Christian years ago. I was actually thinking about it one day. I came up with the idea and we'll just have, to, it's a God thing. It always is a God thing, right. right? We have to give him credit for everything. And I ran it by a young man who was pushing me to go into the world 
in the Christian business space and he was not a Christian. And when I called him up and I said, hey, I come up with a name for the Christian space, Unstoppable Christian. And this guy literally stopped his car, pulled over, he says, Dr. Ron, that is the biggest event yet. That's gonna go all over the world. This was six years ago. Wow. I've been putting it off for too long a period of time to actually bring how God had gifted me in this particular area to the people that he called me to work with. Right, here's what I wanna ask you, Dr. Ron. We have people listening at home right now, and you're talking about in your book, seven steps to your seven figure business with purpose, passion, and profit. Do you think it's possible that when God anoints you with a God-given dream, that you could activate it and with the right strategies, do you believe that they could take that to seven figures? Do you honestly think that they, is it a talent driven? Do they have to have the, the, the talent, the gifting? I mean, can they do that if God has given them that dream? Can they activate and take it to seven figures in your opinion? Let me share with you something that was profound for me. In other words, I've been in business, I've owned and operated uh, at least four different businesses over close to four decades. And I'm very grateful, I've been very blessed. But I gotta right. tell you, I didn't start out being a person who was successful. I had to work and build it and learn along the way. I had to invest in myself, invest in other people that could teach me and help me grow it. And as I got more experienced, I moved into the role of how do I help other people achieve that. Now, when I was preparing to write this book, God was downloading incredible information to me. And what he showed me was the fuel, the framework, and the fire. These are three parts of my book that make it so unique because the fuel is God. Without right. the Holy Spirit, how are you ever gonna put fuel in that jet, that F-18 that Tom Cruise flies in the new Top Gun movie? But then you have to have the second part. You gotta have the framework, you gotta have the, the, right. the jet that's built properly, and that's building a great business. You gotta know practically how to put a business together and how to scale and grow a business so that you're not the person who's a slave to that business, you become the person who works outside of the business, operating it from a distance, more, more or less. And then there's the third part. The third part for me is the most crucial part that most people miss, and that is if you don't build a better you, you'll never build a better business. Wow. So it's about you. You are the fire. <laughs> right. In other words, uh, if, if you were to think about what is the most consistent and inconsistent thing that a business owner brings to work every day, all they have to do is go like this. Right. It's me. Right. It's always them, right? So the more prepared you are, the better it's going to be for you to walk into work with lots of energy, ready to go and fulfill your purpose. Right. Dr. Ron, who should order your book? Who should get this best-selling book in their well, hands? Tell me who should get this. Well, I, I broke it up to three simple people. Number one is if you're getting ready to start a business, you need this book. You gotta have this book because it's already, this is almost four decades of the best experience that I've been able to pay for, invest in myself, and then learn from what works, what doesn't work. Over the last 10 years, coaching and consulting business owners, again, applying the right strategies. And I spent about four hours a day reading and learning from the top people in their fields. So that's the first person. If you're getting ready to start a business, or you already have a business that's going, but you wanna actually get that breakthrough, you've hit a glass ceiling, and profitability is one of the real struggles for you this book is for you. And then if you already have a very profitable business, this allows you to take it to that next level. So there's something for everybody in here. Dr. Ron, let me ask you this. What can people expect to get out of this book after they get this book in their hands? All right, listen very carefully. What you'll get out of this book, if you read it, is absolutely nothing. And here's why I say that. Too many people gather knowledge and don't apply the knowledge. This book is filled. As, as a matter of fact, my clients have paid me up to $20,000 to learn the information I put in this book. This book is the template if you put it into action that could potentially massively change your business future. Dr. Ron, you have a special offer for our listening audience that is watching this show right now uh, to get the unstoppable Christian business. How can they get this on their hands? What's your offer that you have for our people? Well, this is for a limited time, but I want everybody listening to me right now to 
actually copy down this address, this URL, right? Because I'm going to resource this book to you. All you do is cover the shipping and handling. I will pay for the printing of the book and send it to you. Now, this book comes with other bonuses. And the reason why I'm doing this is because my goal is to reach as many people as possible. Now, some people will want to follow up with me. Other people, this just blesses them and gets them started down the road. You're sowing a seed. I'm sowing a seed. And, and he said, I just... Great. Wait a minute. You're telling me that our listening audience, all they have to do is pick up the shipping and handling, and you're going to send them this book? I'm going to send them the no entire charge. book. And there's going to be other bonuses that they'll get once they order the book. Fantastic. Dr. Rod, we're going to go to a break. We'll be right back because we have a surprise. I know you have brought your wife with you to the shoot today. We're going to bring her on set here after the break. Don't you go away. I'm on set with the success doctor, Dr. Rod Eccles. We'll be right back after this short little break. Everybody, make sure that you connect with us on Facebook. Connect with the hottest faith-based entrepreneurial community on Facebook, our God Made Millionaire group, where you can stay connected with us and everything that's happening within our community. Go to our Facebook page, make sure you become a member and become a part of a community of people that are walking in that dream that God has given to them. I'll see you inside our group. Everybody, welcome back. I've got Dr. Ron Echoes back on set, the success doctor. And it's my honor and privilege to welcome to the show for the first time a powerful woman of God, a co founder of your businesses, Dr. Ron, Johanna Echoes. Johanna, it is an honor and a privilege to have you here. And I have to tell you something, Johanna, you are an incredible, anointed, woman of God. And I have history with both of you because I attended, I was honored and privileged enough to attend something called a Roar Business Conference. Can you give us a little bit more insight about that? Yeah. God called Johanna and I to turn the business we were doing, working with just about you know any business owner, to really start moving into the world of Christian business owners. And the, the group that he put on our heart were the people already built a business, right? But they built that business many ways at the sacrifice of things that were much more important, especially their spiritual maturity. Many of them at the risk of their marriage falling apart and even others at health. And sometimes it's a mix of all of them, right? So we were called to work with this group called Roar, but they didn't have a name for it. And I'm in a gym one day and I'm working out and I'm watching the Animal Planet and they have the big cat series, right? And I'm, I'm enthralled by that because these gigantic cats and it was about lions one day. And they were talking about why lions roar and the communication between them. And when they talked about this, they said, when lions hear an enemy enter into their territory, they, they understand the sound, right? And they know who's, who's a friend, who's a foe. They know that's a foe and they roar really loud to warn them to stay out. This is my territory. And again, God dropped it in my heart saying, that's what you're called to bring the message to these business owners. It's about taking back the territory God has given you. Come on. That you have given up voluntarily sometimes or sometimes the enemy has come and taken it away from you without you resisting. Right, right. Johanna, when I attended the Roar event, I was blown away by you. The way you were giving inspiration to God's people, God's business leaders that he's raising up in this hour. Can you talk about your role in Roar? Sure. <laughs> Try to say that twice. <laughs> Thank you, TC. Well, um, God has called us to walk within our gifts. My husband is extremely gifted at teaching and coaching and yeah, teaching people about business. My gift is more of an encourager and a nurturer. I am uh, more into the relationships of people. So that is what I do at the Roar event. It's interesting because we are very different. My husband has a, a type A personality. I don't. He's very focused, very goal oriented. And that usually happens when there is a business entrepreneur in the, in the couple and then the other half is not. So we, although we complemented each other, we also clashed many times and we realized <laughs> no. that we were not the only couple going through this. And that's why we want the business owner to come with their spouse. 
because they need to know, the spouse needs to know, it's okay if you're different. You don't need to be like your spouse. You don't need to have the same gifts. I have an accent, if you haven't noticed, and I always wanted to get rid of my accent because I wanted to sound like him. Uh, but I have come to the realization, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said, you are your own. I made you the way you are because I want you to speak to the people whom your husband cannot speak to. You are gonna reach different right. people that your husband can reach to. And, and I want to encourage them. I want to raise them up and tell them, you're okay. It's like God has joined you together and given you this assignment together as a power couple. Johanna, how important is it for the spouse to resolve those, those issues so you guys can work together like this? God speaks of the gifts and he speaks of the eye cannot be the same as the toe uh, on the foot. They cannot have the same function and not one is more important than the other. So it's very important that we get to know how value we are in the eyes of God the way we are. We don't need to change anything. It's not about what you see in the mirror, but it's about what you don't see and what's inside in the secret place. Can you talk to the women right now at home that are married to hard chargers mm -hmm. like your husband? And they're sitting there going, yes, you're talking to me, Johanna. <laughs> you're talking to me. I'm okay being who I'm called to be. I wasn't called to be yes. my husband. I'm called to be me, and that's more than enough. Can you speak to the audience at home and, and share that message, please? Absolutely. It is um, imperative that you own who you are. You have a voice. You're not going to reach the same people. You are the way you are because you're meant to speak your language to the people who are going to hear you and your spouse is going is designed to speak to the people who are going to hear them so please know that you are loved 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 passionately with the purest of love there is by your god he created you created you the way he made you he perfectly designed you Everything that you have is just perfectly for you. So know that you get to speak your language to whoever wants to, to, to hear you. And it's important that you know that you're valued. God has made you so unique. And, and there's power in that uniqueness, is there not? Yes. Something that I found very interesting in our marriage is that we realize our marriage is not of two of three and when we put Christ at the center and I was focused on who Christ was and he was focused on who Christ was by us focusing on him he brought us together and I started to realize that my value was in his eyes and I don't need to change for anybody because God he, God made me who I am he gave me the value of who I am and, um, and that's it you don't need to change so anointed so powerful and what what a union you guys have but i want to i want to backtrack a little bit about this because we're on this topic and i want to drill a little deeper on this i'm married 29 years this sunday and i'm going to tell you as a husband and wife operating a business together it ain't always easy because here's what happens I'm minding my own business and God downloads this business idea with me. And I'm thinking, this is God and this is the most incredible business. And I'm going, and I want to do it. And I would share it with my wife. And my wife would say, well, I don't feel that. I don't see that. And, and I'm like, why are you throwing the cold water on what God has given me? Dr. Ron, can you relate to that? I can, I can, but I gotta tell you this, it is in the walk in our relationship, I've had to learn from God that he's given me Johanna as a gift. Right. And I have to learn not only to listen to him, but also listen to how he speaks through my wife to me. And I don't always want that, because you and I are that, that type A personality. We are entrepreneurs at heart and we love uh, entrepreneurial type ideas. Right, we're hunters. We're, we are hunters. And sometimes it takes the wisdom of a really good wife to be able to temper and put things in a greater perspective and have a little bit more caution because sometimes we're not as cautious. 
I, I say this all the time. My wife is my self-defense mechanism yeah. that God has placed in my life. Because see, with a woman, you can tell her the details, but she don't need to know the details. You know, a woman, God has given them this self-defense mechanism called their intuition, mm. and it can add up right, it can look right, it can sound right, but something is off in her spirit about it, and I could never understand that aspect of it until I accepted it. And you guys talk about this at your Roar events, don't you? Well, listen, we, we believe in being real, raw right. and transparent, right? If we've just walked through something, we want to talk about it, how God uh, worked it out in us, or He's working it out in us, because we're not perfect and we admit that all the time. Our raw events and anything we do, even with the Unstoppable Christian, is no matter what we think about. In other words, and I'm one of those guys, I like to plan from the beginning to the end, all the details, but we've learned, or I said I've learned, my wife always knew this, that when the Holy Spirit wants to take something in a different direction, wants to do something different, we just yield. Even in our marriage, we want to constantly be yielding to the Holy Spirit's call in our lives. Well, guys, we're running out of time in this segment. So I, I want to ask you, uh, as we close out, I want to give you an opportunity to speak to the people at home. God has anointed you. He's given you a word of hope, of inspiration, of encouragement for the people. And we'll go ladies first. Johanna, I'd like you to look into the camera and just deliver that message that God has given you for His people. Thank you, TC. Um, what I want to say is that know that you have a voice and that people are always watching. And like I said before, whether you love to speak to a bigger audience or you like to be behind the scenes, you have a voice that needs to be heard. Please do not play small, even if, like me, you like to be behind the scenes because somebody needs to hear what you have to say. So um, please know, and people are watching you. They're watching what you do. They're watching if you walk the talk. So um, know that you do count, you do matter, and what you have to say, it's as just as important as what your successful spouse has to say, or that person whom you're comparing yourself with, would you have to say matter? Dr. Ron, bring it home for us, my brother. Bring it home with the person that's sitting at home and go, is it true? Is it real? Yeah. And also, I want to remind you at home uh, to be able to get this book. Uh, it's free. All you got to do is pay the shipping and handling. Dr. Ron, thank you for that. It's, I do know it's a limited time. But Dr. Ron, bring it home for us. I'm gonna to speak to you personally, and I want you to just hear me for just a moment. It's not a matter of you setting the bar too high and not reaching it. The problem with too many of you, and it was me at one time in my life, is I set the bar too low and I hit it. I want to encourage you to step out where God leads you. God gives you a business for a purpose. He's given you a call inside your life as an entrepreneur for a reason. And He will equip you and He will sustain you and He will grow you if you will put your part into the equation. God is always there. He is always faithful. And it's up for you and I to take action and grow the gifts God has given us and to step into the life He's called us to actually operate in. So I want you to be everything God has called you to be. Dr. Ron, Johanna, an honor and a privilege to have you on the show. Dr. Ron, you're in trouble because you can't come back on my show anymore unless you bring Johanna with you. We call her the multiplier. <laughs> <laughs> she makes whatever I do a thousand times better. Thank you both for sharing on the show today. You've impacted so many lives you don't even know. Thank you so much for both of you appearing today. Hey everybody, can you believe we are at the end of another powerful show? Listen, do I ever have a word burning within me for somebody watching the show right now? You know, ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I can tell you is that when you have that God-given dream, you know it because the clouds part and you receive divine inspiration. You know that you know the portals of heaven have downloaded 
this God-given dream in your life. But here's what I also know that is going to happen with you. That little fat man is going to sit up on, get off there, fat man. That little fat man is going to sit up on your shoulder and whisper in your ears, oh no, you don't want to do that God-given dream. Oh no, look at your past. Oh no, look at how many times you failed. Oh no, you don't have the money to do that God-given dream. Listen, you will never walk in your God-given dream if you don't tell that little fat man, shut up, little fat man, get off of my shoulder. Don't you dare let anybody, especially a little fat man up on your shoulder, talk you out of your gifting, talk you out of your God-given dream. You were given that God-given dream for a reason. Activate that God-given dream. I'm gonna look forward to seeing you, yes, you, on the set one day. Don't listen, shut up, fat man. Don't listen to that little fat man telling you that you'll never appear on this show. I decree it over your life. You will, you will walk in your assignment, your purpose that God has given you, but don't ever listen to that little fat man. We gotta get out of here, folks. But before we go, you know how we do it here. We gotta take it to the south side with our prosperity dance. Put your shades on right now. Big Mike, hit my music. Inside the heart of each and every one of us lies a dream, a purpose we were put here on this planet to fulfill, a God-given mission. And when we tap into it, God will unleash unbelievable blessings over our lives, from our family to our finances. T.C. Bradley's new book, God Made Millionaire, will help you bring the abundant riches of the kingdom to all aspects of your life. Order God Made Millionaire today. If you have been given a God-given dream, now you can wear the most powerful success and prosperity shirt on the planet, our federally trademarked God-made millionaire t-shirt and hoodies. Thou shalt decree and thing and it shall come to pass is one of the most powerful spiritual laws for activating prosperity and success in your life. And now you can order your very own God-made millionaire shirt and wear this powerful success and prosperity decree. God-made millionaire TV host T.C. Bradley designed and trademarked these shirts just for himself to wear. But now he's made making them available to you, his faithful members of the God Made Millionaire TV Nation. TC wrote his three best-selling books and signed the deal for his nationally syndicated TV show while wearing his God Made Millionaire shirts. Our shirts and hoodies are high quality and super soft and can be ordered right now from our GodMadeMillionaire.com website. God Made Millionaire Nation, it's time for you to activate your God-given dream in a big way. Go to GodMadeMillionaire.com and order your official trademark God Made Millionaire swag right now. These are the hottest success and prosperity shirts on the planet. Again, go to GodMadeMillionaire.com and order your official trademark God Made Millionaire swag right now.